The special tribunal will today deliver its judgment on the stay application between the SIU and Joburg PPE tenderpreneur Hamilton Lovu. The special investigating unit and the National Health Laboratory Services were earlier granted an order to freeze 42 million rand in assets belonging to Lovu. The 31-year-old businessman is implicated in irregular PPE contracts worth 172 million rand. Judgment in this matter will be held virtually. ENCA's Mangoba Mtkunu is covering the story for us. He joins us live now. Uh, Mangoba, uh, take us back to the reasons why Ndlovu believes his assets shouldn't be frozen. Well, essentially what Ndlovu is arguing before the Special Tribunal Court is that, uh, in fact, uh, the curator that was appointed to handle uh, his finances is not uh, actually providing enough funds for him to fight these court battles. You recall that uh, uh, this year, earlier this year, we did see that preservation order being granted uh, by the Tribunal Court to the South African receiver of revenue, SARS, uh, essentially uh, barring uh, Hamilton Ndlovu from disposing of of any of his assets uh, worth 103 million rand. And these assets include uh, uh, cash as well as property and cars, which uh, were attached uh, at that particular point. And uh, this relates to, of course, those dodgy contracts that Hamilton Glover had received from the National Health Laboratory uh, in March 2020, uh, which amounted to about 172 million rand. We do understand that um, there has since been an investigation by the Special Investigating Unit, which found that that uh, these were actually uh, dodgy contracts and that uh, these were uh, proceeds of a criminal activity. So uh, essentially what SARS then did at the time was that it applied for a preservation order from the special tribunal, which was granted, and uh, it then froze and uh, uh, also stopped from uh, actually disposing of any of his assets. And yeah. also we do understand that uh, the SIU itself is also currently in a court process where it wants to actually re recoup uh, some of the money or the total money uh, of those contracts yeah. that were given to Ndlovu. That uh, hearing we do know that is expected to be heard in March next year. But uh, essentially what Ndlovu is yeah. asking this court to do is to basically hold that uh, uh, particular preservation order until uh, he files his own review application of that SARS decision and uh, essentially says that he wants that uh, order uh, preventing him from disposing of those assets to be halted by the court.